What's up guys, it's your boy back here with another video. And in today's video, it's actually gonna be a sponsor video from Boost Mobile's new phone, the Celero 5G Plus. And I'm basically gonna be showing you, explaining well, how I felt about the device. And you guys gonna be showing you guys a hand cam gameplay of me using the device. So yeah, um, as a mobile gamer who's been playing esports for two, three years, uh, I've tried all, most of the phone on the market and I kind of get the gist of how phones are, are in mobile gaming. Uh, you know, ranging from the Xperia, ROG, and Red Magic, and this phone so retails to uh, retails 150 to 200 bucks, which is super insane for the value you're getting. Um, so this device, why I'm really impressed about it is there's three things. Um, the display, the display on this thing is amazing. It's a, it's actually the biggest display out of all the devices I've played on. It's a seven inch display which is actually awesome. The another thing is the battery life. It has a battery battery power life of 500 um, mAh. So it's it's actually a pretty uh, big, hefty battery. Uh, another thing also the camera, the camera also help, does support 1080, 1080p, 60 FPS recording and, and pictures. And um, the specs of the device. So it has a memory of uh, 128 gigabytes of space and six gigabytes of RAM and a processor of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695, which is a pretty powerful processor. But yeah, at the end of the day, guys, you have to understand this device is only 150, 200 bucks, which is insane. You know, it's actually with me just opening it right now. It's actually pretty solid build. It's not like one of those cheap Android devices. It's actually got some weight into it. It's actually got a good grip to it. I actually enjoy the device. And another thing, it does have 120 hertz. So the device does have 120 hertz, which is insane for a $200 device. But it unfortunately does not, uh, it's not optimized yet on COD Mobile. So you won't be able to play the ultra graphics on COD Mobile. You'll be playing on 60 FPS. Personally, if you're looking for a 60 FPS device and you're like iPhone or phones getting like, you know, it's dying and you want like a pretty affordable device and you're on a budget, this is the phone to go. Uh, I'll link it down in the description for you guys. But if you guys are on a 90 hertz or 120, 120 hertz device, or and still comfortable use it, um, I would stick with that. But if you guys are all, uh, if you guys are looking, if this device hits 120 hertz or it does spawn, it does optimize with COD Mobile, go for it and get it. But yeah, in this video, I'm sh in this clip, I'm showing you guys the comparisons of the Red Magic to the phone. The Red Magic is a little smaller. Uh, the Red Magic is 6.5 inches but it holds 90 fps uh this is the experience experience kind of like eh smaller phone it's only the only good thing is the camera uh so <laughs> i'm just comparing the device and the rog but guys compared to the device, rog's a two thousand dollar device the phone on the right is a hundred two hundred dollar device the value you're getting from that device is actually insane like i'm actually not joking it's actually pretty insane if it just holds 120 fps in cod mobile I would tell everybody to get this phone for the value you're getting it's insane but unfortunately it doesn't have it's not optimized on one and cod mobile uh you know there's a cod mobile channel but yeah uh that's the um boost mobile cellular 5g plus and yeah i'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay of it and hopefully you guys enjoy all right we're gonna play a match with it so yeah i was trying to find bank matches but at the moment i can't find any mac matches so we're just gonna play it top and just gonna show you guys the gist of it being, I regret being top 5,000 because goddamn rank queues, you just never find games. Oh, but yeah, let's just try to phone in the pub and let's just see how it goes. First initial reaction. Obviously, it doesn't have 120 FPS. It doesn't have the 120 hertz ultra frame, so it's kind of like an iffy on that. Hopefully, the device gets optimized uh, quickly. Uh, I guess we'll just snipe first and we'll just use right Just get some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the only issue about the phone I have right now is obviously it doesn't have ultra, so that's the point, you know. It does have it does have 120 hertz, but uh, it does not have the um, um, the 120 ultra uh, COD Mobile graphics, uh, smooth graphics. So, but for the 60 fps, it does run really good. I mean, I used to play on the phone when it was 60 fps on the iPhone 12, and it feels the same, but like. The fact that this game, this phone's a one hundred fifty dollar or two hundred dollar device is actually really insane. Um, for the price, you know, you're getting what you get. Hopefully, if it, if it was optimized, I would've been insane. I would've been super shocked. But yeah, right now, yeah, it just feels like a six regular sixty FPS device. So if you're playing on a sixty FPS device and you're already used to it, the phone goes for it. If you need a device upgrade, things feels alright. I haven't played on 60 FPS for so long. It feels obviously it feels so weird for me, but you know, I have the gist of it, you know. I've been playing on phone for a while, so. Oh, oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh my. Yeah. 
There's never a locust person on the 60 FPS era. Oh, we'll use a. We'll use a. CD after this game. Or after this, uh. After this death. Yeah, that's why I want like, them usually in pubs when I used to play in phone. You should just go up in pub and just do crazy stuff like this. Just go around and just run the, the team over. Get your fingers warm for your rank matches or your regular games. I'll right, we'll show the CBR here. Yeah, so it feels, yeah, it feels normal. No, well, obviously I'm playing pubs, but if I give me give me like a day or two to get used to skinny FPS, I would. Because I'm used to used to 120 FPS, so it's all part of that that I'm like sweaty, sweating in a pub, dude. Like 80% of these like real players on pubs sweat. So, don't at me. At least I'm not dropping a nuke. People who drop VTOLs and nukes in pubs are actually crazy. But yeah. For 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 150, as, as I'm saying, it's it's good it's it's good it's good what you're getting. Um, but obviously, if in my opinion, if you had other like you know, if you had more money than the 150, and you have, if you have your budgets higher, uh, obviously you would want to look for something else. But right now, this device looking, it's, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a good amount. It's actually um, pretty nice. Screen's really good. The the most importantly is the screen. How did I not tap to that nade? The most big thing is the screen size. That's like insane. This is probably like the biggest phone I've played. It's like a little mini tablet in a sense. It's actually a mini tablet. In the beginning of the video, I compared it to the ROG, Red Magic and stuff. This phone's the biggest out of all of them. Pretty nice. Kilo. I use all the sweat guns, you know? Uh, other team. My team got the nuke, obviously, you know. We got the sweaters in our team. Yeah, uh, my full judgment on the phone, uh, it's it's awesome for the price you're getting. If I was like, if I was in high school or middle school and I didn't have that much money, well, I mean, $150 was a lot of money back then, but if I had that money back then, I would have for sure bought this phone. Or saved up for it. Yeah. And it feels so nice. This, I mean, this is how I play. I don't play like this on, on when I used to play competitive. I played it like on the table, but you know, I'm. You know, it's not it's not far to get used to or something, you know. I played like a couple matches before this to get used to it. But yeah. I mean that's the phone for you guys. A simple pub to show it out. Uh, my final review, my final verdict is basically um the phone is it's good for you what you're getting. You're paying only two hundred bucks for it, so you're getting what you get. It has one twenty hertz. If this phone gets optimized, uh if Call of Duty Mobile optimizes the one twenty FPS on this phone, this is insanely worth it. Uh but obviously the FPS. If you're playing on a 120 hertz uh, device or 90 hertz device, I uh, would stick with that. But if you're on a 60 FPS device and you want a better phone, really cool, bigger screen, like good, it feels like you know, feels solid, you know. But yeah, I would get it if you if you want to one upgrade for 60 hertz. But if you're on a 90 or 120 hertz, stay with that. But yeah, um, you know, that's the Celero 5G Plus, I guess. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. That was my phone hand cam with the new Celero 5G uh, phone, and hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.